Hello, I'm Lizelle Sambri, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things writing, traditional publishing, and a little bit of reading. And this is the mid-year writing projects check-in. Uh, so this is basically what I do in the middle of the year, uh, every year for the last little bit, um, just to kind of summarize um, the writing projects, like what I've been working on so far this year, what I've accomplished, and like how I'm feeling about the project, and also what I'm going to be working on for the rest of the year and I do a little bit of a reflection of like how my writing has been so far this year, um, anything I plan to kind of change going forward or I want to keep doing going forward, that sort of thing um, with specific relation to the project. So if you're really curious about what I've been working on and how that's been going, that is what this video will be. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with ongoing projects. So these are projects that I was already working on in 2023 and have continued working on in 2024. And the first one I'm going to talk about is A Mastery of Monsters. A Mastery of Monsters is the first in a YA Dark Academia trilogy, <laughs> which follows a girl whose brother goes missing and she feels like this specific organization may be involved. Um, and in order to infiltrate their ranks and find him, she ends up teaming up with a boy who is only months away from becoming a literal flesh-eating monster um, and she enters a deadly competition with him to master control of his monstrosity. So that is what uh, Mastery of Monsters is and where I'm sitting at with the project right now is uh, the cover is done, which I'm very, very excited about. The cover is done and has, as far as I know, like gone through all the approvals and is like definitely going to be the cover. I'm very, very excited about it. I think it's so cool. And it's also like very, very different from all of the other covers that I've had so far, which I personally am excited about just because I like am excited to have like a different sort of cover and see how that is. Um, so I'm super looking forward to that. I haven't seen the full jacket yet, but I'm excited also to see the full jacket. Um, and I've even taken some new author photos. Um, I don't have them ready yet, but I went to the photographer and took them um, so that I can have like a Dark Academia look to go with the Dark Academia series of books. So very excited about that. Um, I finished copy edits on it, like a couple months ago so I'm pretty sure that soon I'm gonna get my past pages. Um, past pages is pretty much like the last stage um, before um, it's ready for publication. Um, there might be one more round of past pages if I make a lot of changes in the first round of past pages but we're like very near completion of the book um, and of course I also announced that it will officially be a trilogy if you've been following the journey of Mastery of Monsters from the start um, you'll know that when I initially sold this project this project um, it was sold in a two book deal but I envisioned envisioned it to be a trilogy and so that's what I really wanted to do um, and so we kind of like <laughs> made a push with my publisher to be like hey we really want to do a trilogy um, and to try and get that third book sold um, because it's kind of the situation in which I couldn't really write the second book without knowing whether or not there was going to be a third. Um, and so we were able to get that deal. I'm very excited about it. And so the series will be three books the way I originally envisioned, which I'm super, super happy about. Um, the book was also moved to summer, which I'm also very happy about. Um, it was originally supposed to be a spring release, um, but it just it wasn't quite working within that time frame. Um, it was just better to move it to summer um, for kind of a multitude of reasons. For one, we didn't really have enough items at the like in-house launch to really like get people excited about the book and so it was better to kind of give ourselves like a second chance with the summer launch um and then also it was just kind of like the spring uh kind of catalog for my publisher was really kind of packed um and my editor started to feel worried that my book would kind of get like lost in the shuffle and so we also moved it to summer to give it a little bit more breathing room, which I'm also very excited about. And also, quite honestly, I don't like being in the spring. 
<laughs> I don't like releasing books in the beginning of the year. I just find it to be I don't know. I feel like there's not enough of a transition between coming off of like winter holidays and start and like the flurry of starting the new year and then all of a sudden your book is out. And I also feel like when people are doing like end of the year wrap ups and end of the year lists, I feel like it's easier to be forgotten about when your book came out earlier. And honestly, I just don't really like launching when it's cold. Um, so even though it's called spring in Canada, it's still winter until like March. <laughs> Um, and where I live kind of until April um, and it's just like not fun to launch a book when it's cold and so I'm excited about it being summer because then it'll be like nice and warm and I can like I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be <laughs> much better um, and so the current date is uh, slated for June 3rd that may or may not change um, but it is going to be in summer which I'm really excited about um, so how am I feeling about this project I mean I'm extremely excited about it. I really think this is such a fun book. Like it's very anime inspired and so there's lots of like fight scenes and little battles. Um, it's also got a great ensemble cast. Um, I feel like in my last two books I've kind of narrowed down the ensembles a little bit more um, and this has more of that like found family sort of ensemble um, but I do still have like biological family in there because I always really like those sorts of family themes so that's still happening um, and I just I think it's great it's got a fantastic slow burn romance that I'm very excited about as well and I just think it's just such a fun time. I think this is really my like fun action adventure <laughs> sort of book um, but also with like those dark academia vibes and like that you know that edge of darkness um, that I really like to have in my books. So I'm extremely extremely excited about it. Um, Otherwise, for the book, um, it is still currently on submission to UK publishers to try and get a UK deal. Um, it's been a long while. I admit that I am <laughs> losing hope a little bit, but we'll see. You never know. So we'll see how things shake out with that. But otherwise, I am very excited for the future of the series and going forward with it. The next ongoing project is The Couples Retreat. Um, I have changed the title for this a few times, but I've just settled on going back to the code name of hashtag the couples retreat, um, which is not the title, but I just, the title is doing too many things in flux. And so I just don't want to settle on a title. So I'm going to keep it to the code name. Um, and this is an adult thriller following a couple whose relationship is kind of, um, on the rocks and they decide decide to attend this revolutionary couples retreat um, that is not as it seems. So that is basically the pitch for it. Um, I have five <laughs> currently finished all of my edits on it. Um, we did do a few back and forths. Um, my film agent in this case has also been involved in like giving her feedback on the project as well, um, which has been a first for us, but she's very excited about it. And so um, we've been getting some great feedback from her too. Um, and so currently, as far as I could tell, we are done all the edits. We have the polished version that is ready to go on on submission. Um, because of the uh, July 4th weekend, we didn't really want to put it out right away just because we didn't want to have this thing where like we give it to editors and then they go on their like extended vacation and it kind of gets like forgotten about um, and so we figured it was better to put that out on submission once everyone is back from vacation. So as of the time you're watching this video it will be on submission. <laughs> as of the time I'm filming it it is not quite yet but um, it will be so that's very exciting and I'm feeling a little bit <laughs> of odds. I think it's difficult because I know it's kind of going on submission and so I feel that I have made the book the best it can be. Um, I do feel some confidence about the project um, given how excited both of my agents are about it, which has been great, both my literary and film agent. Um, so that's really positive. Um, so there's 
a lot of hope there. Um, we also did uh, land on a title um, that actually my film agent came up with <laughs> and I really like it. I fit, feel like it fits the story really really well. Um, I also think it's one of those titles that kind of like has layers as you read the book which I'm really excited about. Um, so I think that's great. I'm really happy to be putting it on submission with that title and I'm just kind of yeah excited but nervous and that whole thing of like I know this is the best form of the project but like when you're putting it on submission you kind of don't really know what's going to happen if editors are going to like it or if anyone's going to want to buy it um and so there's that in the back of my mind sort of like second guessing of like is it good enough like is it going to sell is everything going to be okay um and I think it's also extra stressful because this is the first time I've been on wide submission since my debut. <laughs> so once I had my debut YA novel, I continued submitting my books to my already established editor. <laughs> like I already have an established relationship with her. And so there was like an element of kind of almost safety, I feel like in that. Um, and now it's, you know, it's an adult project. Um, I've had a few, a few, uh, uh, foibles along the way trying to find my adult voice and kind of get to a project that I feel is like good enough to send out to publishers and so that's been kind of its own journey so there's a little bit of like trepidation of like is it going to come across as like an adult voice the way I want it to which I think it does but you never know um and then now it's kind of like I don't have any adult <laughs> kind of I don't have any foothold in adult and so it's just everything is wide open so anything could happen um I could have a ton of editors interested um, I could have no editors interested. I don't really know how it's gonna go. Um, I feel like at this point in my career, um, because I have, you know, I do have five books under my belt now, I feel like I do feel a little like more confidence than I have in the past, like going on submission, like ha that I had with my debut, for example, when I'd never sold a book ever. Um, I feel like I have a little bit of confidence, like, you know, I feel like this could could happen <laughs> but at the same time there's tons of second guessing so I don't really know how to feel but I am just kind of gonna let things be as they be and I'm otherwise just very excited to get it on submission and see what happens um, because once it's out there you know the possibilities are open um, and I'm also excited to not be editing it anymore <laughs> because I was getting a little bit I was reaching my edge of like okay I'm tired of working on this now um, so yeah I'm excited to see what what the future holds for this project. Now let's talk about the new in 2024 projects. So these are projects that I started for the first time this year and we're going to begin with the sequel to A Mastery of Monsters aka the second book in the series. Um, it has been difficult for the last little while <laughs> when I knew that I had the deal but it hadn't been announced to be like the sequel and to not call it the second book though I think there were some vlogs where I definitely slipped up and I said the second book um, but anyway I'm really excited about this sequel um it I guess I can't really say anything um because it's the sequel to a book and that book hasn't even come out yet but it's a continuation of a mastery of monsters um it continues to be a dark academia and it continues to have another deadly tournament. Um, each book in this series is going to have some sort of deadly competition and so that just continues in this one um, and I'm very excited about it. Again, very anime inspired with that dark academia vibes. I'm really looking forward to this tournament in particular because it's kind of like more one-on-one -on -one stuff which I'm really like just jazzed about like I'm so excited about all the different scenes I have in my head um and currently 
the phase I am in for this is that I'm still plotting it and I'm plotting it very very slowly. Um, I plan to be more regimented in plotting it but then I just had a severe lack of motivation in June and so it was better for me to just kind of like chip away doing a little bit by a little bit um, but I am going to be <laughs> more serious about that um, going forward because I really do need to be done plotting it by the end of July um, which is what I'm planning to do. So my plan is is those two months for plotting and then to take about a break of a week and then to do uh, a month to two months of drafting. I'm still of two minds on this. I don't know if I want to do my usual drafting one chapter per day or if I want to draft two chapters per day to kind of expedite the process a little bit um, so that I give myself kind of more time and freedom for editing but at the same time I do have a lot of time so the deadline for this book is in January of 2025 so I do have a good amount of time and my deadline really is for a first draft but I'm always trying to give myself enough time to do at least one self-edit on the book before I hand it into my editor. I just prefer to do that. So the plan is to do kind of roughly two months for drafting and then roughly two months for self-edits um, and then that should bring me to November so then I will have December as kind of like a buffer month. So if I lagged in any which way like if it took me longer to plot than I expected or it took me longer to draft than I expected or it took me longer to edit than I expected then I have that whole month of December uh, to kind of give me a little bit of extra time to adjust either or so that's kind of my plans for getting everything done um, I'm aiming to do a hundred thousand word book um, because that's kind of what I aim for in all of my fantasy because I know that once me and my editor get together um, we can like add words real fast so I like to keep it to that amount of time because it gives me enough to flesh out the story but also like breathing room to add more. Uh, my books just tend to be large so at this point I've just kind of accepted it but I do feel like for myself I do have a personal kind of like I don't want the book to be like absolutely massive like 200,000 word books I don't want to I don't want to get into that space and that's exactly why I wanted three books so that we can kind of have all of that breathing room so we will see how that goes but uh, ultimately I'm feeling really good about it um, even though plotting is going slowly I'm really liking everything that I'm plotting and I have all of these scenes that have been percolating in my head. These books in particular are ones where like I create a playlist and the playlist is really helping me with like visualizing the different scenes and the different moments and there are so many like scenes and moments in this book that I'm really excited for um, that I just think are going to be so cool when I put them together um, and I am also making an effort to try and make this book like even more fast paced. I do think A Mastery of Monsters is like more fast paced than my usual fantasy. I think especially because there's more like battles and fights and that sort of thing. Um, and this one I really am trying to make more of that as well. Um, I also added in a new point of view for this book. I don't know if it's gonna stay. <laughs> I guess we'll see what my editor thinks. But I do think it's a very necessary point of view and so you're kind of getting an additional point of view from a character that was already in the first book and I'm kind of giving them more <laughs> breathing room so to speak. It is like an uneven POV because that's just how I tend to do things. So like this new POV character will get kind of like a quarter of the book and then the main character August will get the rest of the book um, and then my plan for the third book is to add one more POV um, and so to split it up in those two POVs will each get a quarter of the book and then the main character will get half. Um, so those are kind of my plans. Um, I like that idea of kind of like incrementally adding a POV and it's just kind of necessary because the 
overall plan I have for the books, um, which I have roughly planned what the entire series is going to look like so that I could have a good idea of what needs to go into the second book. Um, but just the overall plan I have and the way things shift, um, those extra POVs become necessary because you need to be able to see those other sides of the story. So I'm excited about it. Um, the second book has like some new characters that I'm also like just absolutely over the moon about. Like I feel like they're gonna add so much like drama <laughs> to the books and so I'm really excited about putting them in. But it's so funny to be like so excited about things for a second book and the first book is like a year away <laughs> from publication still but I'm excited about it and I'm really looking forward to doing it. Um, I do think I have some timeline things where maybe I'm like moving a little bit slower than I usually would with my books but that's why I started working on this earlier so that I could give myself that time and so I do still feel very much like I have more than enough time to get everything done that I want to get done for that January deadline. The only thing that's a little bit up in the air that I'm not really sure is I do really want to go to Kingston, Ontario where the book is set. I do want to take another trip there this year um, just so I can kind of like be able to add on to the book um, because I find it really helpful to like go to the place and like get extra inspiration. Also it's helpful for me to like check in on Kingston <laughs> and like make sure I'm keeping up to date because sometimes things change or shift or like places close down that I remember from my university times or like some things kind of change like they're adding a new ferry over there. They kept saying the ferry is going to be launched on this date, not going to be launched on this date, going to be launched on this date. So many times in A Mastery of Monsters I've changed what this fairy has been <laughs> because this fairy keeps changing in the city and so it's just like nice to go there and be able to see and kind of like get a feel and get all of that inspiration and so I really do want to do that. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that this year just kind of like financially um like I don't know that I have budget to do it this year so it might be that maybe I can try and do it like maybe earlier in the year next year um just like while my <laughs> editor is looking at it so that I can you know add in those things either in like the first round or second round of developmental edits like start getting those in um but yeah, I really, really want to get out there, but uh, we will see. Um, it would be nice to go this year because then I could kind of go in the fall when it's not as cold as opposed to having to go in the winter. Um, but uh, yeah, we will see what ends up being possible. But quite honestly, the second book, like the time period it's taking place in is like January to March generally. And so I mean, if I went early in 2025, then at least I would be going in the exact time period <laughs> that I'm planning to write the book, um, that the book is taking place rather. So it might be better for me to do that, even though it will be cold, and that will be upsetting to be there when it's cold but it is kind of more in line with the book and I'll probably have better budget um, in the beginning of the year. Um, I might even like have some leeway to maybe apply for like a travel grant for like research for the book. We will see but that's uh, another plan that's a little bit up in the air to do with the second book. And the last new in 2024 project is a novella project that I talked about in the beginning of the year. Um, I I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video but I'll link down below my uh, writing project update uh, from the beginning of the year. Um, but yeah I had talked about wanting to do this novella project and that it was like a no pressure thing and it was kind of just if I had time and I've just decided I just don't have time. <laughs> So I think what, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in my reflection, but I kind of just want to keep my focus on contracted things um, and like give myself lots of time to work on that. And so I just don't see the novella project super fitting in. And I feel like when I first thought of it, I had like a huge drive to work on it. And I was like so excited about this novella. And I feel like I've really cooled on that since. 
<laughs> I've cooled very much on it and so I think I'm just going to leave it for now um, and I'll put it on the shelf and maybe one day I will get around to it. And to reflect on the year so far with my writing projects, um, I feel like I've been doing really well. I feel like I've had like a much calmer <laughs> part of the year though I will say part of that um, in very large part for me um, is that I have started taking an anxiety medication um, I finally kind of got to the point where I was like I think for a lot of my life really all of my life I've really convinced myself that my anxiety wasn't like serious enough uh, to warrant medication and so I didn't bother um, and then and I finally just kind of got to a point <laughs> I think especially I think because I have friends who also uh, take that take medication for anxiety I was kind of like you know what let me just go to my doctor and let me just try it out and see and if my anxiety truly like isn't serious enough then I guess it won't really do anything or it won't really feel worth it to me whatever I was like let me just try it and see how it goes and I tried it and it has made an enormous difference in my life. A huge, huge difference. Um, it almost feels like night and day. It's just, I think I didn't realize like how much of an anxious person I am until I had the medication. And I was like, oh, well, this is just great. Um, I feel like I spent so much of my day um, being stressed about many different things and like constantly thinking about different things and I feel like that really did carry over into my writing. I feel like I was always doing all of these additional projects um, as like all of these backups for things. Like I would like work on so many different things at all times um, and I feel like uh, maybe it came across as being very productive um, but I feel like it was really just kind of born out of anxiety and me trying to have all these things like just in case, just in case, just in case and I really didn't need to be doing that and I feel like I like mentally could tell that that was a bit much and that's why I was trying to kind of pull back more and more and more but I feel like my head, my brain was still like oh the whole time and now I feel like I've calmed just significantly significantly um, and I feel like it's really <laughs> helped things and I'm really glad that I've gotten on this um, before I'm set to go on submission with my adult work because I feel like I'm gonna have uh, a very different experience on submission which is great I feel like I do still you know I'm still like impatient about certain things but I feel like the feeling in my body the like holding of all of those like anxious thoughts um, has really uh, quelled significantly and I think that's partially why I've really narrowed down my focus of my projects even more. I just don't want to be working on anything right now that is not contracted. Um, I want to focus on my contracted work and give myself lots of time and space to do that. Um, so basically kind of for the rest of this year the only thing I'm planning to work on is the sequel to A Mastery of Monsters. Um, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not doing the novella. Um, I am not panic preparing another adult thriller in case my adult thriller doesn't do well on submission um, because I can wait and see how submission goes and then I can decide what I want to do. I don't need to panic <laughs> anxiety like try and do another adult thriller in advance I just don't need to do it um and I don't feel the need to do it um so yeah I'm just gonna be working on the A Mastery of Monsters sequel for the rest of the year I have no other plans um my adult thriller will be on submission by the time this video has come out is comes out 
is on submission um and kind of my plans are just to see how submission goes um you never know i do have some general ideas for adult thrillers that i want to do for example if the book sold and they wanted to do a two book deal and they were like what ideas do you have i have ideas a hundred percent i have so many ideas but i have one in particular that i already would love to be a follow-up um and so i can can just generally share that um, and if they want more then I can create more at that time but I don't need to do all these things panicking in advance <laughs> it's not necessary at all and so that's really how I'm going forward I'm just gonna see how things go and react when it's necessary for me to react instead of trying to um, you know trying to predict every eventuality and prepare for everything because it's just it's a lot of energy and again it's not necessary <laughs> and I'm happy to have the headspace to realize it's not necessary at this point in time so I'm otherwise feeling really good I feel like I've had like honestly a very chill year <laughs> like I don't really feel like I've had to do anything like super short term I feel like I was feeling a little bit squeezed on a mastery of monsters in the beginning of the year um but since we s moved that day to summer it's really like a full load off has come and I just have so much more time now and I'm really <laughs> feeling the benefits of having that much time I just feel like I'm calm and even though you know in June I was like I don't really have a lot of motivation so I was just kind of like doing my plotting on the fly even that I really felt fine about just because I know that I have so much time and I'm really it's really helpful for me also to know that I have that much time and I'm really only working on one thing plus I will have to do those A Master of Monsters past pages um but that's something that's kind of only going to take up a week or so um but yeah, I just feel really good, really calm. I'm super excited about getting the couples retreat on submission and kind of like honestly not thinking about it for a while um, and just seeing how things go from there, especially because I feel like so many things can change. Like I really do feel like I'm at a little bit of like an impasse like career wise um, because if I'm able to sell that adult book and get into the adult market um, I feel like so many things have kind of opened up now. Um, I have options where I could potentially um, you know do a YA and an adult in the same year or I could kind of swap off. I could like do some adult projects for a time and then swap off and do some like young adult projects for a time and then swap off and do that sort of thing um, depending on how advances work out <laughs> finances work out um, because I do need to make enough to live as I'm doing this full time um, but yeah I just feel really chill and calm <laughs> and I feel hopeful um, I'm still like nervous <laughs> but I do have um, some hope in terms of like the adult book and that sort of thing and so I'm looking forward to all of those results and yeah that's everything that's going on. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Bye!